rescue. The death of a couple remains unsolved in Bledsoe County. News Channel Line's Stephanie Sanostasi joins us now live to tell us why the couple's friends believe someone murdered them. Stephanie. Kim Calvin, Robin Martin, and James Songer were both found dead inside their Pikeville home Tuesday evening. The TBI is investigating the case as the couple's friends try to cope with the devastating loss. The light outside this Bledsoe County home remains on, even though no one lives here anymore. 48 hours ago, Bledsoe County Sheriff's deputies found Robin Martin and James Songer dead. Their bodies were found inside this house off Brock Hollow Road. People who knew the couple are shocked. When you hear about something like that, it's just like it's not real. James Parsons tells us Songer and Martin dated and lived together for years, but never married. No. He used to live with them. You just see them and then, and then they're gone, you know. Parsons says neither one had any enemies, but admits Songer did have some anger issues. He had his little, little spells up and down, you know. He, just normal dude, you know, had, a, had, his, had his problems, you know. But he made it through. He knew what he was doing. Parsons believes he acted like that because of some of the issues in his life. A few years ago, Songer lost his father, Henry, unexpectedly. So he loved his daddy. He loved his daddy. I mean, every time him and Robin got into it, every once in a while, Henry would go. Had to go over there and calm him down. Right now, police are labeling the deaths as homicides, but have yet to release information on how each one died. It makes you double double look at your locked door at night. I did twice last night. Parsons doesn't believe either one would do anything to harm themselves or each other, although police haven't ruled that out just yet. James just got in trouble for having a gun, so I don't think he had one. Friends say both Songer and Martin kept to themselves and never bothered anyone. Tonight, a community grieves as they hold their loved ones tight. You might want to make what part of life you got worthwhile. A TBI spokesperson tells us the investigation remains active and ongoing. Autopsy results are pending. Kelvin. Thanks, Stephanie. TBI agents say once they've gathered all relevant evidence and interviews, they'll submit their findings to the district attorney's office.